every day. He's just, he's going to get better, and our chemistry is going to get better as well. Shooting the ball, I talked to, uh, mentioned to Samir the other day at the SEC Media Days, and he said this team's going to shoot. And obviously, you're known as a shooter. How good of a shooting team will we see once you guys understand everything? A uh, great shooting team. You know, everybody stay in the gym every day. Everybody get in two to three workouts a day and make sure they get up a thousand shots a day. And that's what's so good about this team is everybody's in the gym every day. No Oscar, and I know what have you seen out of Oscar when, before he had his little procedure that showed that, yeah, he's going to be locked in for another go. Uh, a lot of physicality from Oscar, a uh, great rebounder. Uh, he's definitely one of the, you know, our leader on the team because he was a player of the year. And, you know, as soon as he get back, he's, he's going to make our team even more better. What's it like for someone like you that's come in from another school and it takes a while for everybody to figure out their role and the relationships with the team? How has that gone for everyone? It's going pretty well. Um, team bonds has been good. Everybody's been talking to one another. Everybody's been going out with one another. Uh, things we did, you know, as well as just bowling and swimming with each other. And it's just been a, a good time for, for one another. How do you feel about how you guys are on the perimeter? I mean, you guys look like you've seen the gel pretty well from beyond. How do you feel about where you guys are there? Oh, I feel pretty good about it. You know, as we keep practicing every day, of course, we're going to get better. And team chemistry is going to get better as well. And, you know, everybody's, you know, you know, like each other, too. So that's that's one main thing that, you know, that's why we're so good on per uh, perimeter. Forgive me if you've been asked this already, but, um, you know, over the past few months, you guys have been really close to Eastern Kentucky and, and you guys wanted to do this out here. How did it feel to, to actually have that come true and, and see that in real time? Man, it's... It's great that we came out here, man. We, you know, like I said, we like community service stuff, you know, just giving back to the community is one part of the team that we, we do. You know, if we, anybody need help, you know, we, we there. So I'm definitely, you know, happy we came out here and, and gave a, gave them a game. What about this morning and just having the chance to go there where people are kind of living out of a park right now, mm -hmm. getting the chance to get them some things in their hands to, to you know, stay warm this winter? Um, you know, like you said, just <laughs> out there staying warm, gave them gloves, jackets, coats, and things like that, you know, just to make sure they stay warm for the summer. I mean, not the summer, the winter, but, you know, in my heart, it's, it's a good thing, and in their heart, you know, as my teammate heart, it's a good thing as well, so I'm just happy we, we get to do these things. Is there a time where you and CJ are just kind of like, if you see, if he hits one, are you trying to match him at all times? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's I like, you know, compete with CJ, man. Of course, man, we, we shooters on the team. So every time I see him hit one, I'm like, you know, I want to I wanna get one too, you know. But, you know, I love CJ, man. He, he's in the gym every day like I am. So, yeah. It starts for real after this. You get to go against somebody else, uh, you know, once again, you know, since the Bahamas. Um, mm -hmm. How much are you all looking forward to getting this thing started with the experts? Man, everybody's excited, man. Everybody talks about it in practice every day. You know, can't wait for the for the first game on November seventh, man. So, you know, definitely just competing with each other every day in practice and just trying to get better and you know, nobody's worried about that right now. Everybody just focus on, you know, pushing each other. How does a game like this help you all prepare for the regular season games coming up? Um, just gelling with one another on the court, you know. Uh, switching up the teams and you know just compete with one another, just making each other better. So that's that's it. Coming in, I feel like the teams maybe were a little stacked one side, but you and the dude just came out and really played well together. What is your all's chemistry like so far? Me and the dudes, or just the whole just team? Just you two together, you two in general, and then the backcourt as a whole as well. Oh, um, me and the dude hang out all the time, and you know that's that's my brother right there. We just you know talk to one another every day and just try to build team chemistry on and off the court so it's almost like we expect a, a dude to have big games now just from the bahamas and things like this is he you know what has he shown for me do you think he's going to earn some minutes on this team this year uh, uh we would tell when the game start man i just know that dude is a hard worker and he competes at the highest level man so hopefully we we'll see you know as games start um i'm coming in late in so you might already mention this but the stuff that happened before the game with the Fan Fest and especially the, the State Park handing out the winter clothing and everything, what, what did that mean to you guys? Man, it means a lot to me, man. Um, it means a lot to the whole team and, and to coaches as well, man. We just wanted to give our support to, you know, those in need, like like I said the, the, in the previous question. But, you know, just giving out coats and, and gloves and stuff means just the world to me, man. Just, you know, people that, that go through that stuff is just crazy. So I'm glad to be here.
did you expect to be doing this much community service type stuff when you when you came to Kentucky to be a part of this team? Um, no, I didn't expect it. It just came with it. Uh, it just caught me off guard, and I'm just blessed to be here and happy to be here. What, it's, as far as the game, there were a couple moments there where you would score like eight points in two minutes. Is that kind of your style? Do you Are you the type of player who kind of goes on heaters every once in a while and just gets a bunch of buckets at once? Yeah. Uh, I just know my game, and, you know, I just go out there, and I know I just can get hot. So, you know. Me being having the experience I have in, in college and just playing basketball in general, you know, you know, I just know my game and, you know, how I operate. So, yeah. Talking to some of the other guys, I think they kind of feel like that they already recognize when you have those moments and they're going to get you the ball. Is that something you guys talk about or that Cal has talked about or is that just kind of a natural no, thing it's, that happens? It's just natural. You know, guys know that I'm going to heat up and, you know, they look for me. Um, it just comes with, you know, they, they – you know, on the floor, you just basically just one guy on the other side, set up, oh, set up a ball screen, and just things like that, just uh, reading the game and having that IQ. So, yeah. building off that, is that Cal's message to you? Like your your game plan is just go out there and just kind of get points whenever you can. Yeah, uh, Cal expects me. He knows my role for the team. I know my role for the team, and you know that's that's basically you know what I can do. I'm a, I can score, and you know that's why I was trying to get to the team. Do you and CJ, are you like on the same side of scrimmages very often in, uh, in practice? Uh, Not really. No, we always compete against one another, man. And, you know, CJ, my boy, man, like he got a, he got a, a strap just like I do. So, you know, like, like CJ go out there and just hit a couple, you know, in a row and I hit a couple in a row. It just, you know, that's us just really just gelling one another or just being in the gym with one another, man, and just getting up shots. So, yeah. I imagine there's going to be times during the season where you're both on the court at the same time. What, I guess, as far as like floor spacing, that kind of stuff, what do you think that's going to be like for, for defenses to, to face both of them? Oh, that's going to be crazy out there. Uh, me, me and CJ are on the side, just, you know, no team can leave us open. No, we just going to have to go in and, in and out, you know, and hopefully we can get overshots.